Hello and welcome. In this episode, we will cover a new feature that allows us to create variants for engineering products in Dynamics 365 for supply chain management. And in order for us to cover this feature, we of course need to go through some basics of engineering products. So let's just navigate to our engineering change management and open release products. So here we see a list of all the release products and we will create a brand new engineering product. So we will not use this new button in the top left corner, but instead we will click on new engineering product right here. When we do so, one of the mandatory fields here is the engineering product category. Let me select one that exists. What exactly does it do? Well, let's just take a look at it closer. I'll navigate to engineering change management, setup, and engineering product category details. Among other things, it defines which product dimensions will be active for that brand new engineering product. And in this case, you see that my product dimension is called Config. Therefore, I know that the configuration product dimension will be active. It also defines whether or not the versions, which is a mandatory setup for any engineering product, will be generated automatically, or you will have to manually populate the version number. And it also defines any attributes that will be applicable. Right? So I selected this product category right here. I see that here are my optional engineering attributes as defined by my product category. And I need to populate a product. You see right here that the version V001 was auto-populated, again, based on that uh, configuration under product category. And now the only thing that I need to do is type in the name of my first configuration. Product name. So we will call that engineering product with variant. And after that, we can click on OK. So that's how we just created a brand new engineering product. The next step we'll do is navigate to Engineering tab right here and click on Engineering versions. Right away, we see a brand new version, V001, that's the one that was auto-generated, that has a configuration dimension STD001. So let's take a closer look at that version. Click on the version number. Right here, we see the attributes for this version, we can change them. For example, seasonal, we're gonna say it's gonna be yes. Uh, collection, let's select something else, formal, and leave the brand as is. And then under bill of material, we will create a brand new bomb version for this specific engineering version. Click on create bomb, site will be one. The process of bomb creation is very similar to the process of creating a bomb for a standard product. Once the bomb version is created, I'm gonna click on lines. And I'm going to add a few products here. Go back to our version. Click on approval. Yep, we're going to approve it. My name is here. So it's marked as approved. And then activate to make that bomb version active. All right, so now we have engineering attributes. They came in from the category. We also have a bill of material that was associated with a specific version. Let's go back. That's where we stand right now. First method to create a brand new variant is to use a very familiar form. It is found under product tab right here. So the first thing we'll need to do is define a brand new configuration. Well, where do we do that? We click on product dimensions. This form is standard to engineering products as well as to any standard products. So I'm gonna click on new. Let me generate SD002, for example, as a new dimension. Go back to our release product and now click on Release Product Variants. Well, we can use the Variant Suggestion in this case. Click on Suggest All. So here we're seeing a new variant being suggested by the system for the brand new configuration. I'm gonna select it, and I'm gonna click OK. So now we have another brand new released uh, product variant created. Let's go back to our product, and let's go back to Engineering tab now and click on Engineering Versions. Right here we see that the system automatically created a brand new version for our brand new variant. Unfortunately, there is a bug and I, I think I just read a post in Yammer saying that this is already kind of reported to Microsoft and they're working on it. It's a fairly new release, so it still, ha it still has some bugs. So we see that the brand new version, unfortunately, does not have a version ID generated. It's blank right here, but it's connected to our brand new configuration STD002. So it should have generated an, a brand new version. In this case, it should have been V-002 because that's how the auto sequence is configured. But nonetheless, let me just show you what we can see under the, uh, that brand new version. Click on open. 
And what we can see here is engineering attributes were copied from that category that we have assigned to our engineering product. We still don't have the values here, so all those values are default values. So remember, we have changed C zone to yes, but here it's a default value of no. And we see that bill of material here is blank. So this is a blank version for a brand new configuration that has all the defaults and no bombs and routes copied from the existing version V001. All right, so that's basically the first method of generating a new variant for the engineering product. Now let's take a look at the second one. For the second one, we will create an engineering change order. Again, remember I said that we need to touch on the basics of engineering change management functionality inside of D365 supply chain management. So we're not gonna deep dive into that functionality. I think that topic was very well covered by other people from the community. I'm just talking about the product variant generation. So what we need to do in a second method to generate a variant for our engineering product is to create a new engineering change order. Let's do that. So let me go to my engineering change management module, click on engineering change order, click on new right here. So we're gonna assign a order number, that's a number sequence, but I did it manual right now. So let's say 002, category standard, priority, let's keep it low. Now we're gonna click on the impacted products, click on the new button right here. And the options here are existing product, create a new product or products from the change requests. We're gonna do it for the existing product. And in here we will see only the engineering products in that drop down list. The one that we will use is that ENG and the one with the configuration STD001. Remember that's a configuration that has the bill of material with three lines. So that's what I'm doing here, selecting this specific version. And under impact, we're gonna say we want to generate a new variant. The options here are new version, so it may generate a new version, new variant, or the new product. So let's say we want to generate a new variant here. So like this, and now we need to process that, right? So the only thing that is missing here, and that's not quite obvious, is we need to provide the configuration ID for our new version right now. If I click on that configuration in that bottom right corner, I see the two configurations that I have created in the past. But here I want to add the third one, so I can just type in STD003. That's a brand new configuration that I'm creating on the fly as the part of that engineering change order. And now I need to approve my change order and I need to process it. Once you process it, only at this point we see some changes uh, reflected on our engineering product. So let's go back here, let's refresh that list, and we see a brand new version created. It's actually the same version here, but it is for a different variant right now. So if we look at that configuration and click on open, we see the attributes actually carried over from the original version 001. And we also see the bill of material also got copied to the brand new configuration as well. If we click on the lines, we should see all those three products that we have added right here. That's correct. But the interesting thing to note here is that it's a different bomb version. In this case, it's number 228. That's for the a new configuration, 003. But the original bomb that it, it copied from, if we look at it, was actually for 227. So that was a short overview of the generation of variants for engineering products. I hope you enjoyed it, and until the next time, take care.